In today's Daily Dose of Weird News, Mount Everest is covered in crap, literally. Dogs have lousy short-term memories. A man goes ballistic after being refused alcohol. Peep-flavored milk. And are you an employee? Are you working for somebody? Well, then this day is for you. Although your boss probably doesn't know or care. I'm Darren Marlar, and this is your Daily Dose of Weird News. Today, March 6, is Employee Appreciation Day. In celebration, the website WalletHub is out with their list of 2015's hardest working cities in America. They examined 116 of the most populated U.S. cities across seven key metrics, including labor force participation rate, average hours worked per week, and number of workers with multiple jobs. Results show that the top five hardest working cities are Anchorage, Alaska, Virginia Beach, Virginia, Plano, Texas, Cheyenne, Wyoming, and Irving, Texas. Okay, so the hardest working cities are those where the economy is so bad you have to go out and get a second or even third job? You know, I'm not sure that's the kind of hardest working city title you want to be working towards, America. Mount Everest, it turns out, is currently covered in human waste left by climbers. The chief of Nepal's Mountaineering Association says it's become a problem that is causing pollution and threatening to spread diseases on the world's highest peak. The more than 700 climbers and guides who spend nearly two months on Everest's slopes each climbing season leave large amounts of waste-slash-feces-slash-urine. And the issue has so far not been addressed. Ang Shering says Nepal's government needs to get the climbers to dispose of the waste properly so the mountain remains pristine. The mountain cleanup effort is being named Operation Katmandudu. The U.S. ambassador to South Korea was slashed in the face early yesterday, Thursday morning, while speaking at a breakfast forum in Seoul, but his injuries are not considered life-threatening. Ambassador Mark Lippert, a former Navy SEAL, was cut on the right cheek by a man wielding a blade. During the attack, the assailant screamed, South and North Korea should be reunified! Right, as if South Korea would want that psycho. New research reveals that a dog's short-term memory lasts for less than two minutes. Hey, can somebody please tell me why I'm digging this hole? New research reveals that a dog's short-term memory lasts for less than two minutes. Oh, wait a minute, I think I just did that story. A baby girl was thrown during a three-vehicle pileup in Ohio on Monday, and in what some are calling a miracle, the baby opened her eyes and smiled at rescuers who found her. Rescuers found seven-month-old baby Madison 25 feet from the crash site, still strapped into her car seat after it was thrown from the van on impact. Baby Madison survived the crash with, believe it or not, only bruises to her head. There you go. Proof that God exists and that he has an amazing plan for this kid. Jerome Clemens' niece refused recently to drive him to a liquor store. So, he torched a vehicle and burned part of his own home. Clemens had already been drinking when he asked his niece, Robinisha Felton, to drive him to the liquor store to replenish the beer supply. When she declined, the two argued, but Felton left because tempers had flared. Clemens' brother, James Clemens, who was also at the house, had started making dinner when he observed Jerome pouring gas over a large area rug placed on top of a four-wheeled ATV. Jerome then set the ATV on fire with a lighter, and soon the rug, the ATV, a garbage can, and miscellaneous articles of clothing were all ablaze. James Clemens put out the fire with a garden hose before calling the police. Well, you know, at least this family does stuff together. Prairie Farms is releasing Peeps-flavored milk this spring. This week, Peeps milk will be available in three flavors – marshmallow milk, reduced-fat chocolate marshmallow milk, and reduced-fat Easter eggnog. It's Peeps-flavored. At this point, are you really concerned about it being reduced-fat? A restaurant's policy to give customers a percentage off their bill on their birthday actually became a seven-cent refund for a man who turned 101 years old. 
Joseph Nelson, who celebrated a birthday breakfast at the Belmont Hall and Restaurant in Manchester on Monday, said he never thought he'd live this long. The restaurant's policy is that customers get a percentage taken off the bill on their birthday based on their age. At 101 years old, that's 101 percent off the bill, so the restaurant owed Nelson money. Nelson ate scrambled eggs and ham topped off with a piece of chocolate cake. Free food, people. If that's not an incentive to live longer, I don't know what is. I can taste the patty melt now. Only 54 more years to wait. That's your daily dose of weird news. I'm Darren Marlar. Get more weird news anytime, anywhere with the Daily Dose of Weird News app. You can download it free for Apple or Android, subscribe to my YouTube channel, visit me on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and you can also sign up for my newsletter, The Marlar Sheet, to be notified of new videos, stay up to date on my upcoming TV, film, and comedy projects. You can find it all at dailydoseofweirdnews.com. 